it's unmuted. All right, so it's a 30 minute uh, keyword research for SEO webinar. We're gonna get right into the session here. Uh, my name is Chris Ralph. I am, uh, I guess, a global digital marketing expert, I'm not an expert surfer yet. I'm actually supposed to be in Mexico right now. Unfortunately, that did not happen. Uh, originally from Switzerland, moved to Boulder, Colorado about 20 plus years ago. Awesome place to ski, hike, bike. Uh, got about two decades in digital marketing, uh, international keynote speaker, uh, teamed up with Neil Shedd, who's also on the call and Bubble Digital uh, to better serve our customers around the globe. You can contact me via the information below. That's even scarier to me. Um, <laughs> Yeah, if everybody could please mute themselves. So in the next 30 minutes, you will not become a keyword research expert, as you can see on the, uh, the blue button on the right there. Um, but you'll learn some really cool information. Um, uh, we're going to talk about why you have to do keyword research, how to do it, uh, how to identify low-hanging fruit keywords that are already driving traffic to your website, and then where and how to implement um, keywords on your website. Hey, Neil, that said, I'm going to quickly let you talk about our uh, program here on how to uh, get more organic search traffic, create more sales, uh, and become an influential brand accelerator. Neil. Yeah, so um, thanks, Chris. And look, uh, for total openness and transparency, Chris called me five minutes ago on <laughs> WhatsApp and he said, can you, can you join my webinar and introduce Influential Brand Accelerator to everyone? So I said, why not? Um, but it's great to know that you had a slide in here, Chris, so thanks. Yeah. Um, but the, the um, I guess, really quick introduction. I founded Bubble three years ago. Prior to that, I was in investment banking, working for companies like Goldman Sachs, Barclays Capital, Accenture. As a project manager by day and by night, I was launching businesses online uh, through SEO, through content marketing and, and, and social storytelling, really. That was the heart of, heart of it and it still is the heart of what we do. Um, and, you know, we started the agency three years ago in, in London. We grew to the US and, and now have a team uh, that Chris manages over in Colorado and there's a particular customer we've never been able to serve as well as our other customers which is a small business owner or a one or two person business owner uh, or business uh, um, business with only a, a small team um so you know what we do 99 percent of the time is working with larger enterprise companies or or larger businesses who are looking to hire an agency or looking to hire um, a service provider to take over their content to to help tell their story and ultimately to build the business authentically online and so they can have more impact and that's that's what we do day in day out that's kind of been our focus for the last three years and I guess something we've dabbled with because we've been asked and um, you know we've been challenged in the past to do this which is how do we take what we've done for clients and actually serve a smaller business owner who isn't necessarily looking to hire an agency or hire a service provider, but how do we help to take them by the hand to actually build their business and start telling their story and, get, and become more visible online. And so during the coronavirus, we ran a number of surveys. We talked to 40 plus businesses and we ended up with the Influential Brand Accelerator program. So the great thing is we've got already a number of people interested. Um, and we're launching the first group, the beta group, 1st of July. Um, and, that, and that's basically the message. So if you're interested in understanding what the program is, how it's going to work, and most importantly, how it's going to take your business from where you are today to the next level, we'll be more than happy to walk through it with you. So just, um, Chris, I don't know how... Oh, the oh. next step is oh yeah it's at the bottom just yeah there. just that so basically seo has changed quite a bit over the last two years so there's certain uh, algorithm updates that completely changed the landscape uh keyword research is part of that program uh but this is an awesome uh, program if you want to do seo yourself so thanks so much neil um with that saying you well hey stay on neil if you want to uh, chime in oh. or help answer questions but then definitely jump over that sales call later all right so what are seo keywords 
So basically, uh, it's what we use to search for things in these search engines. So as you can see here, uh, one of our target SEO keywords for the Boulder SEO marketing website that we still have up and running. Somebody types that keyword into Google. Uh, Google will display how many other things in its database you have to beat to get to the top of Google. Obviously, uh, Neil, we know how to do SEO. So we got the, uh, the Boulder SEO marketing website to rank twice at the top there. Uh, by the way, uh, we used to completely dominate page number one, but Google will now only display two URLs of the same website on page number one. However, uh, you can also resort to a strategy, it's called off-page SEO. Um, where you can get, for example, a LinkedIn showcase page to rank at the top or an about.me page. So I encourage you to do a quick search for SEO Training Denver uh, so that you know that I'm not just blowing smoke here. Uh, this is basically what's doable if you have a good keyword uh, strategy, implement those keywords correctly in your, uh, on your website, in your off-page entities. Um, maybe off page can be a standalone webinar at some point if you guys are interested. So keywords, uh, it connects people with, um, you know, what they're searching for in these, uh, um, search engines, All right? Very important to understand the difference between short tail and long tail keywords. Uh, Neil, we often see people, they only want to go for the short tail keywords. It's basically two or less words strung together. So in this example here, Denver SEO, right? For me, could be very exciting. Uh, you know, I wanna be number one for this keyword. Well, it has a high search volume. Uh, however, the lower, uh, the intent is lower. Who knows what these people are searching for? You know, I predict it's probably a lot of uh, other SEO agencies here in the Denver market that they just wanna see how they rank for this keyword. It's more competitive. Uh, you're actually going to pay more for pay-per-click Google Ads uh, since it's higher search volume. It's more competitive. However, it, the relevancy is lower. So I'd rather be found for a keyword such as Denver SEO services lower search volume. However, the intent is higher. Somebody doing this search, they're looking for a service provider in the SEO space in Denver. Less competitive, uh, higher relevancy here. All right. Uh, we're looking at Google Keyword Planner. This tool is part of uh, Google AdWords, the Google AdWords suite. If you want to see the exact monthly search volume, you're going to have to sign up for uh, a Google Ads campaign. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to see ranges like 10 to 100, 100 to 1,000, 1,000 to 10,000. Totally pointless. You want to know exactly how many people are searching for these search terms. Again, um, as you can see here, a lot of people are searching for um, Denver SEO. However, based on that seed keyword, Google will also show you uh, other recommended keywords, which should be part of my SEO strategy, or in this case, the Google Ads uh, campaigns. So for me, a keyword such as Denver SEO company or Denver SEO services may be way more interesting to optimize for lower search volume, but I know these people are probably, uh, they, it's a higher intent. All right, see how we're doing here in time. Okay, so why keyword research for SEO? Um, well, SEO starts with keyword research. You basically, uh, at the very beginning, before we take on a client or before we start a project, we ask our clients, hey, who's your target audio? audience. Let's create some buyer persona profiles so that we clearly understand who's that person at the computer doing that search for a keyword that will hopefully connect them with your website. All right. If you do this right, uh, that's a, a real customer example. This is what's possible year over year increase in Google organic search traffic to a website, it dramatically increased uh, inquiries 
sales. Simply, we started with a, a keyword research strategy and then we implemented, you know, a strategy over time. Neil, you're going to, in the next webinar in two weeks, you're going to talk about how to create um, search engine friendly content. So uh, this webinar will build on this webinar. All right. And that webinar is going to blow everyone's mind. <laughs> It's going to be way better. Uh, all right, really quickly, uh, Google's algorithm explained. There's about 250 main ranking signals in Google's algorithm. You can place all of these ranking signals onto five buckets. Uh, the technical aspect uh, of SEO, on-page SEO. This is where we're going to use keywords. Off-page SEO, so on-page, anything we can do on a website. Off page, uh, what I showed you before, the uh, LinkedIn showcase pages, about the me pages. We want to use our keywords in those uh, entities as well. Love it or hate it, social media marketing needs to be part of your SEO strategy. And you also want to use your researched keywords in your social media postings. And then uh, last month, or I think earlier this month, Google announced that the usability of your website is now also a ranking signal. So if you don't have a good feeling about your website, uh, it now may be time to, for a redesign. Uh, we're happy to talk to you about that as well, uh, if you need help with this overall strategy. And then, uh, of course, uh, content marketing, storytelling, content creation. Again, this is what Neil is going to talk about in his webinar. Ultimately, that's the holy grail to SEO. So while you need to know the keywords that you're going to optimize for, it's all about high quality content. And we'll talk about that in a couple of weeks. All right. Let's get to the meat of this presentation here, how to perform keyword research and what kind of tools can be used for this process. And then I'm also going to show you how to identify the low hanging fruit keywords that are already driving traffic to a website. With that being said, I'm going to jump over here to a tool called Google Keyword Planner. Um, um, it is probably the best keyword research tool because you get information directly from Google. One-on-one, -on -one, there's no in-between, there's no third party. Um, so why don't we do a search for uh, affordable SEO packages, a keyword that I recently optimized the Boulder SEO marketing website for. Uh, so basically, I want to see how many people are searching for this keyword and by the way you can change locations you can do keyword research in German French Italian whatever language right all right so this is my seed keyword that I plugged into keyword planner Google uh, keyword planner will show me hey uh, 320 people are searching for this keyword on a monthly basis very high intent, right? So if you, so basically we're gonna optimize each and every page on our website for three keywords. So usually what we do, we're gonna, you know, do an initial uh, search uh, with one keyword and then we'll scroll down here. All right, maybe affordable SEO packages for small business. Not a lot of people are searching for this keyword but it's super high intent, right? So we're gonna go back to the drawing board here. We're gonna plug that in. All right, so now we're narrowing down, we're feeding Google with additional information about the topic that um, we're trying to get keywords for. So now you should see um, you know, a condensed list of other recommendations down here. Look at that. Affordable, small business SEO packages. So you want to stick to the theme. And I'll plug in this keyword here. Uh, so by the way, you can add up to 10 keywords as your seed keywords. And then this way you can create a very specific list of target SEO keywords. So as you can see here, 
um, you know, if you combine this search volume here, we're looking at roughly uh, 400 people searching for these three keywords on a monthly basis. So I may, may as well optimize my affordable SEO packages page on my website for these three keywords. And we'll get to that in a second here. Um, and now you have a very condensed list of, you know, high intent keywords that you could make part of your SEO strategy for like blogging, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Neil, anything to add here about the Google Keyword Planner? No, I mean, um, the thing this doesn't give you is competition. So, um, you know, there's tools out there like SEMrush, Hrefs. Um, what I actually like to do is look at page one results myself. And if I see a low quality site on page one, let's say um, a forum, then actually jumping into that forum and answering the question, because now your answer is the most recent, is probably a pretty good idea to do. Yeah. Um, also shows a good example of ranking for that keyword. You can also use sites like Quora. So when Quora ranks for a term, um, that's a pretty good sign that actually giving an answer in Quora is a good, good idea. Uh, just look at the quality of sites. If you're seeing like mum and, um, you know, mum blogger shops, uh, which uh, have just appeared for that keyword, you know, that suggests the competition is, uh, is pretty low. So you can use tools to define competition, which we do all day long. Um, but at the same time, just actually looking at page one results, sometimes there's nothing better than that. Yeah, exactly. And actually, I'll get to that in a second. Um, so I quickly want to show you a couple of my favorite tools. Luckily, uh, so I get to speak globally about this topic. And these tools providers reach out to me. They see me, I guess, as an influencer. So I get free access to a ton of tools. One that I really like is SE Ranking. And I'm going to show you guys a few of those tools. Um, so if you don't want to deal with uh, Google Keyword Planner and setting up a paid ad campaign, there is no shortage of awesome tools out there. Basically, these guys, uh, and actually I did a webinar for them earlier last week, they pull data directly from Google Keyword Planner. Very affordable. Uh, I do not do affiliate programs, so I, I don't get paid. Uh, I just do it. So I can, um, you know, get access to these tools and provide an honest opinion. Um, so just go to seranking.com. Awesome tool. It basically does the same trick. They, as Neil uh, mentioned earlier, you know, Google Keyword Plan does not provide competition. Many of these third-party tools, they actually do. So basically the same functionality. I uh, really like this tool. Another tool that... Uh, gave me free access. Let's do uh, affordable SEO packages, small business. That's one of the, the keywords that I'm targeting. It's a tool called SEM Scoop. And by the way, they all have um, different functionalities, very similar functionalities. They often range in the, sign, in the same price range. Um, but I do, oh boy. I guess I was locked out. Let's try this again. What I do like with this tool is that, um, and it's thinking, it's, oh, here we go. Um, oh boy, uh, when we do uh, SEO packages, small business, so it gives you a ton of information such as, you know, the pages that rank, what kind of, you know, backlink profile do they have? Basically, it gives you a lot of information about who you have to beat, uh, what does their profile look like, and uh, the information should be generated here momentarily. Oh no, I guess my Mac is pretty slow here. I'm going to rerun this again. Uh, let me get to another tool first and I'll come back. Hopefully I'll be able to share that information. Um, but yeah, SM Scoop gives you a ton of information about, you know, the backlinks, uh, how long the site's been up and running, etc. 
All right. Let's uh, take a look. So this is basically how you perform keyword research from scratch, right? Using tools such as Keyword Planner, etc. You then download all of these keywords in a massive list and you basically uh, want to come up with three keywords for each and every page on your website. Let me talk about um, how to identify the keywords that are already driving traffic to your website. And I do recommend, if you don't have a brand new website, do this exercise first. Um, there's a cool tool called Google uh, Search Console. Uh, under performance, you will see the queries that your website is already ranking for. Um, you only get about 50% of all the data. So this would be, would be double. I don't know why they're doing that, but basically they provide you with about 50% of all the data. You get the clicks, how many times your website was shown, the click-through rate. Uh, we're gonna talk about uh, that in our last webinar, basically in a month, uh, conversion rate optimization. Uh, here we go. You see, you know, RPA use cases in marketing. My website ranks at basically position one or two. What I'm not getting with this tool is the search volume. All right, two ways to do that so that you can make an informed decision on which keyword to add to your um, keyword strategy. Again, you can use a tool such as SE Ranking. Under, uh, it's called uh, Search Volume Checker. I already uh, started that because it usually takes about five to 10 minutes. They're gonna grab the data directly from a Keyword Planner. So you simply plug in your keywords. Uh, so you would pull them over from Google Search Console, plug them into here. And this way you're going to see, you know, how many people are actually searching for those keywords that your website is already ranking for. Another, if you want to go the easy route, uh, Neil mentioned a tool. I think, Neil, you mentioned Ahrefs, uh, SEMrush, etc. Probably SEMrush one of the best tools, you simply plug in your website and then this tool will show you, you know, an increase in keywords that you're ranking for. You know, unfortunately we don't have time to go over this tool in detail. There's so much you can do with this. Uh, but basically this is what you wanna see here. If you are optimizing your website, you wanna see an increase of keywords that your website is ranking for and look at this. Magic. So this tool will show you affordable SEO packages. I'm now at number one, my website. Um, it's getting me, uh, you know, about 150 visitors per month. This is a killer keyword. We're getting so many leads through this keyword. Um, there's about 320 people searching for this keyword on a monthly basis. It took me about, gosh, uh, about two or three weeks to get to the number one spot. Maybe that can be another uh, webinar. It was actually really easy. Uh, you just have to know how to do it. Uh, but now this is creating, getting us a lot of leads. Uh, this is an awesome tool. You don't have to go through the hassle of combining data and tools, etc. This tool runs about, I think, uh, 100 bucks per month. Uh, simply go to scmrush.com. Yeah, um, in this way, you know, I look at uh, keywords where I'm not in the top three currently that have a, you know, a reasonable, reasonable amount of uh, search, uh, search volume. And then I make those keywords part of my uh, keyword strategy. Before, uh, Chris, yes, I, Neil, go ahead. Can I just quickly jump in with yes, some please. that? Um, there is, so some people might be wondering, you know, Chris, you're the managing director of Bubble, you know, Neil, you founded Bubble. Why are you ranking a website, you know, seoboldermarketing.com for terms that clearly Bubble um, is relevant for Bubble as well, the website. So the reason is, is because sometimes it's easier for certain sites to rank and get in front of a particular keyword than it is for say bubble so bubble is a fairly new domain we rebranded beginning of this year 
um, we've already built the authority of the bubble of, of the domain. However, trying to rank that domain for the term affordable SEO packages over in the US is going to be um, you know a long journey. Whereas we already own SEO Boulder Marketing, so we're leveraging another entity that that is part of the umbrella. You know that is part of the umbrella of the company. So I just wanted to give that context because you're going to start. You're going to see multiple domain names. Um, and that's why, and that's, that's part of the SEO strategy. So, you know, most companies only focus on one domain name, which is great. If you've got, um, if you've got leverage, why not use it? And so, you know, that's, that's kind of, yeah. and, uh, I mean, both of my, I have my websites, the boulder, marketing.com and Chris Roth.com website up and running for a while. You know, we have more nets in the fish, uh, sorry more nets in the sea uh, i mean we're not deceiving people it's we're you know once people get in contact with us you know it's like hey this is the parent company but you know if you have a website that's already performing really well you know don't destroy it that'd be my recommendation all right so before you lock in a keyword as part of your uh, keyword research uh, or seo strategy head over to google trends or simply do a google search an incognito search um make sure you know people are still searching for that keyword or let's um do seo packages you know basically don't pick a keyword that is you know, potentially dramatically trending down. As you can see here, um, you can go back whatever years, you know, it's trending up again. So this is definitely a keyword that I want to be found for. And also you can see where the keyword is trending most, uh, other related queries. So there's no shortage of uh, tools that you can use or should be using as part of your uh, strategy. We will uh, go through thousands of keywords for our clients to find the best possible keywords. I mean, this can take, you know, a smaller website, half a day to a day, medium sized website, a few days, large website, potentially a week. Uh, so we're trained in this. Uh, this is essential to your SEO strategy. Uh, so I do recommend you get very familiar with this process. And then real quick, uh, where and how to implement those keywords. Again, uh, Neil will talk about, uh, you know, the content, where the keywords need to be placed. Basically, make sure that each and every page on your website, the meta tags are optimized. Um, you basically want to have a title tag that's um, that includes the most important keyword um, and you want to stick to about 50 to 60 characters uh, ideally if you can uh, include the keyword in the URL so if you do a blog post slap that keyword into the uh, URL uh, of that blog post and then you know try to use the other two keywords in the description tag stick to about 150 to 160 characters yeah and man we're already at the end of this presentation neil i know you need to jump over into that sales call but at this point i would love to take uh, questions if there are any questions and everybody will receive the uh, link to this uh, the recording of the uh, presentation yeah so at this point Please let me know if there are any questions. Let me see, I don't see the chat. Oh, there we go. All right, um, let me see. Uh, WRT costs, is it less expensive to run a Google ad than to subscribe to another service? Uh, so question, you know, should I be using Google Keyword Planner? Uh, instead of a third party tool. Well, I said I, I'm running a Google ads campaign. I think I'm paying about 30 bucks per month. So I get two benefits. I get to run uh, the Google ads campaign, plus I get access to the, um, you know, all the data. It's really up to you. We invest, we invest thousands of dollars into tools. Um, yeah, but there's a tool out there for you. Let me see. Um, so most of these tools use info from Google. 
Um, I would say many of them, definitely uh, the ones that I showed you, yes. So SE Ranking, SEM Rush, Ahrefs, those are pro, SEM Scoop, those are my favorite tools. Uh, so you're gonna be fine with those tools. Let me see. Is it okay to use a keyword on more than one page of a website? Oh, Nina, great question. Actually, I'm gonna jump over. I was gonna show you guys something here. Yes, it is. Hopefully this is going to load. Uh, so for the Chris Ralph website, these are the keywords that I am optimizing this website for. A very narrow, small set of keywords all about global SEO, international SEO, etc., etc. So this is the way I mapped these keywords. Um, 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 so basically, this is called the keyword mapping process, where you assign three keywords to each and every page on your website. And yes, uh, there can and will be overlap, because oftentimes the same page talks about, uh, or like, you definitely want to optimize that page for uh, potentially the same keyword. So it is okay, don't use the same keyword for every page. So, I, Nina, I hope that answers your uh, question. Let me see. Wow, Papua New Guinea. This is awesome. Um, let me see if there are any other questions. Swiss position. <laughs> cool. Um, okay. All right, thanks so much for the feedback, uh, short and sweet. Um, yeah, if you have any other questions, uh, just shoot me a quick email. Uh, the next webinar is gonna be in two weeks about content. Uh, and then the last webinar in a month is gonna be about uh, conversion rate optimization. This stuff is not as hard as you think, and especially that training that we're launching will get you there. If you, if you need help, if you wanna outsource your digital marketing, uh, you know, I, you're welcome to of course reach out with that said uh thanks so much for your time stay safe and healthy out there and uh, we'll be in touch thanks guys bye thanks so much bye bye